Hello and welcome back to more Harry Potter Lego Years 5 to 7. My name's EpinG993 and there's nothing to see here. Just Hagrid playing a game of darts because, you know, he's Hagrid. He's a giant. He's a Hagrid the lad. It's in the cauldron, you know, the world's in jeopardy, but Hagrid's just biding his time playing darts. Because that's what he does. <laughs> so in this part, we're going to be going back to Hogwarts, back to school. Going back to Hogwarts where everyone knows that I'm cool. Uh, to do... Um, second level of Year 7 Part 2 in free play mode, and who am I going to be? Who wants to? Who wants to go back to Hogwarts? I think Molly does, because Molly, you know, I think most adults, you know, have secretly want to go back to school, you know, it's, life's easier when you're at school, when you think about it, really. Obviously, now you've got, you know, lessons and homework and deadlines, but none of that is anywhere near as scary or critical or level of responsibility as real life is, so... School really. I mean, if you're at school now, you've got it easy. Believe me. If you are at school, I'm watching this though, bad person. Right. So this level begins with us here in good old Dark Alley, and Diffy is running around like, oh my good lord. Let's just take care of these guys first, because they're going to annoy us otherwise. Now, I can't remember exactly how many studs we need to get um, True Wizard, but it's a lot less than the last one. Don't worry. Awesome music. I mean, this level's got lots of awesome music tunes. Groovy, sexy, Harry Potter music tunes. So there we go. Right, so the first acceptable is uh, we want to get this Harry Potter sign over here to the right. Is it in there? We've got to get three of them. Just give them a quick whack with the old, uh, with, you know, any spell really. Right, who have we got for our dark cat today? Blimmin' how Harry's naked in the snow again. It's like, naked time! In the snow, in Hogsmeade. Like, oh my god, the boy who lived the chosen one, he's finally gone loopy. It's only a matter of time. But no serious though, who's our dark character? Not Hagrid. Oh, you got Hagrid, that's nice. Oh, it's Mrs. Black! Evil, angry Mrs. Black! Oh, angry Mrs. Black! Get the key. Oh, the key we'll need in a minute. Nine minutes and bitter. Need first, don't need. There you go, Fang can do a trick. And where's our blooming now naked Harry? What an image that is. He must be freezing his uh freezing his snitches off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Why would you have that in your bag? I mean seriously. I mean I get you need to have the essentials, you know, for going travelling and all that. But why would you have this doohickey? This boggles me. But ask no questions in Lego games. Just do. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> After that lovely cinematic there. And there we have it. We can build a door. And somehow there's then a wizard in the toilet. No idea how that makes sense, but it does apparently. So, yeah, so there's in this part here, the first part of the level, there's two collectibles. Um, here we have the first one. Go on the bog, which is very, very rude of us, eh? Sorry about that, gent, but you know, we built the toilet, only for you to then go into it. Very, very quickly indeed. And the other one, so that gets, we'll get that first of the Caro um, twins. The other one is to get all three of those signs. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, to be honest, as is often the case in this Lego game. It. Ah, oh, that's it. Thank God for that. Should be the last sign. And there we have it. Gryffindor crest piece. So there's three more collectibles in the next section, in that sort of uh, room of requirement, and then three more in the jewel, which obviously you know really detracts from the matter at hand when you're dueling someone like the Carrows and Snape. The last thing we'll be thinking about is collectibles, but you know. That's what free play mode is all about. So yeah, I think we need about what must be forty-five, fifty thousand maybe. Can't remember for the life of me, source boss. But there you go. <laughs> Let's just get on with getting ourselves up to the school. Sorry, Ron, but it's just so funny to do it. <laughs> it's just too much fun, one too. I'll do it once more. <laughs> 
But it's for Marnie, so he'll still love her. Yeah. One. Time to do your thing, one. Do your thingy thing. Put the illuminator. Bring them away. <sighs> Wrong, honestly. <sighs> Very slowly, very astutely. Because obviously you can't run when you've got the illuminator in your hand. <laughs> Imagine that being in, in the instructions. Never run with a illuminator. So of course you think that's a student in peril. But if it's not, no, 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 no. It's a random guy covered in ice. How oh, very sad. Very sad story indeed. When it explodes. Watch out, Ron. But don't look into the light. Once you can destroy everything here and get those stats from that, which we shall do indeed. And up we go. First level done. Still panicking. Just ignore that for now. Off to Hogwarts we go. Obviously, they meet Aberforth. It's all way like. We get a bit of a shortcut. We meet Neville. And everyone is fast asleep. Ridiculous. Harry's here, and it, uh, it still boggles me that it, rather than just you know saying, "Hey, wake up," you have to use the um, magic to do it. Sorry, I'm just listening to this music. This this track is called um, it's called Polyjuice, um, from the Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part One soundtrack actually. And it's one of my favourites. I think it's a great little piece. It's sort of that, it's that sort of meeting music. You know, it happens at the start. Um, happens when Harry first meets Moody. Um, tonks and all that, and they're all about to change into the Seven Harrys as they enter the Privet Drive. As you can tell, I'm quite a bit of a Harry Potter nerd when it comes to the music. I just love it. So, both this clock for. Could that be Dean up there? Yes, Dean. Fast But why has Dean been on the run for a long time? He deserves a break. But even so, it's time for action! So, that was the first over there of three collectibles. Another character, and this one over here, student in peril, who's just hanging up there. All you've got to do is just shoot him with a uh, little spray. I mean, Aquamenti, you dingbat. Don't be dirty. Another one for our collection. And over here, Neville's like, hello. Sorry, we're not awake, you know, it's a bit manic over here at the moment, you know what I'm saying? Oh god, I'm, I'm trapped by those two, not by Lavender. Oh, good lord, no. And the last collectible will get Fang to do it. It's Aberforth Dumbledore. With a wonderful bushy beard, but the beard, beard ever so slightly changed so that you can tell it's not Dumbledore. Mm. It's weird because I am doing this as well as doing Harry Potter Heroes Part 2 the game as well. Both of which, I mean quite a few of my projects actually, all three of them are actually coming towards the end because I think I'm going to leave, I've enjoyed the, doing Lego Star Wars but I'm not sure having done two Lego games at the same time I, I can handle doing free play mode of Lego Star Wars. Um, and I'm also coming to the end of the Heroes Part 2 which I'm also doing now in this Lego game as well which is quite, yeah, it's a weird old thing isn't it really. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon this, this and, uh, and Lego Star Wars will be finished in a couple of weeks. I mean, Death Heroes Part 2 could be finished in a couple of weeks as well. Imagine that. Loads of products all coming to the end. After a long, long time. But I've got plenty of things in the pipeline, so don't worry about that. Don't you worry your little noggins. Hi, Luna. <laughs> yes, I am talking to a video game character. God help me. Right. Let's put one there. Yeah, it's going to be 50,000, isn't it? You can just tell. Anything else around here we can destroy and get some more studs from? It's better to do it now than worry about it later on. Put them in a battle. Oh, hello! There we go. That one in the corner. Romeo done. So, the last one here is for Maya to get out her bag. Get Maya's bag. We've got a lovely little stereo. Just what Doctor ordered. And there we go. And Chambers was like, yeah, I wasn't sleeping at all, I was just casually uh, closing my eyes. Now it's plan time. <laughs> and suddenly, oh my good lord, we're in the middle of a fight. Everyone panic! Everyone run around with your hands in the air! 
It's like it's like a road, just much, much more planning. So actually, what, what am I saying? There's so many compared to the last level where you have to really sort of get every stud when you can. Let's get the three statues over here first. Let me get you the Slytherin crest piece. So a couple more things to get now. So over here we need dark character. Just ask them to do it actually. Just say, hey, I'm sorry to just in interrupt you guys, but, but, but before we fight, could you get this chest open? It's really important. But like, yeah, sure, you know. I'll help you guys out. Come on for the team. And because Caro looking very sullen and miserable. Lighten up, dude. No idea how Fang's gonna fight these guys, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. He'll probably change cat. Oh, no, I haven't got a book because she's stupid. Yeah, I said it. Bite me, Mrs. Black. Um, oh, he can do it. Of course he can, he's a smart teacher. And there we go. And gets us. Boom! Ravenclaw. So that is it. We've now got all the shooting in peril, all the characters, and of course, True Wizard. Let's go on with the fight. Who shall we go for? Ginny. Ginny be badass. No, she wants to be. Now this guy, to me it just seems like, oh I want to get those women studs now, is there maybe other studs? Yeah this guy to me, it seems like he, he just sort of waits for you to do your spell, he, he never actually attacks you. So he's got a good one to go for really. No idea who Fang is. Fang is actually fighting in a fight. I, I can't wait to see that. If, if he wins as well, that would be amazing. One more for good luck. I can't do it. Come on. There we go. That's it. Across. What? Fang, how did you do it? How did you beat her? Fang, you're crazy. Crazy dog. Oh, I love you, Fang. Right. Now, there's only one character you can have for this. Only one. And that character is Dumbledore. You've got to have Dumbledore fighting Snape because just think about that. That's just crazy to consider. The old headmaster, one who Snape was in cahoots with the whole time. Yeah, he's the one taking care of things. Trying to get through, but no. Yeah, it's a shame with these boss fights because I, I do think in this game, I don't know what it's about it really, but they seem to, to sort of lack imagination. They get a bit stale and repetitive after a while. So it seems that all the boss fights are just either you're either throwing stuff back with Gaim Leviosa or you're dueling them one-on-one -on -one with the same old spells. It's just, yeah, you know, you long for something different. Something, a new spell to do or something, some different sort of tactic. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame really, I think. Come on then, mate. Bring it on. That was close. It's always the hardest one to you because that just goes so quickly at you. Down for the count. I can go this way, yep. Watch this, look at this, whoa! Wireless. And there we go. Snape is down! Beautiful. Let's pound you. That sounds weird. <laughs> Coward. It appears the headmaster's done a bump. That's the level done. House Crest, more characters, more of the Caros, and Ever Fourth Dumbledore. It's good to have characters that are really sort of crucial to that level, really, when you think about it. Ever Fourth and the Caros. They're both central in those levels. Because you get some characters, you're just like, what? Why do I need these? What is the point of them? But there you go. So, I think, I think it's time for us to go and buy some characters, because we haven't bought any characters in a while, actually. So it'd be good to head out. Madame Malkins, who is still recovering from her time in the uh, in the Leaky Cauldron, but there you go. A lot of Leaky Cauldron, sorry, Green got some minds going. Brrr. Just so, I'm, I'm just enjoying playing this game so much, just getting all into my head. Right, I've got loads to buy. Fantastic. Who's this here then? She just start up here, make her way along. And the fourth Dumbledore, she have another one for Hermione. Oh, for one as well, Harry. We haven't bought for a while. Oh, Amnes, Caro, Slytherin Twin. Oh, so it's sort of the evil Slytherin ones. Before, before the snake. 
the other ones. No, just before the snake. Oh, ready then. Oh, another one. Oh, of course, Dob Dobby, Grip Hook. All the, um, the other sort of otherworldly characters. Who's that there? The skeleton! The skeleton costs 5 million for some reason. It's the most ridiculous one of all, I think, to be honest. No purpose for it other than just to sort of annoy you. Like, you must buy this. You must get this. Who else for us to get? Oh, hello. Lily Potter, young casual, and this. <laughs> so, old Lily Potter, basically. That's, that's that's what the game's saying. It's like, but let's not put it. Let's not make it too, you know, specific. You know, she is old. That's a weird old character. Let's have this Luna. And I think, I think that's it, actually. We've got both, let's think about it. We've got both the Caros. We've got Hermione and her new Rose. In the, um, the last level, what did we have? We had Griphook, Bodrod. Uh, that, that, that was Hermione and her new Rose. And we've got Aberforth, Dumbledore now as well. Yeah! And that's it. Made quite a debt in our star collection, actually. Which is good, because we've got so many of them. <laughs> Alrighty, then. So, the next part, obviously, we're level 3 of your 7 part 2. Which will be as awesome as ever. As I'm sure you know. <laughs> See you then.